it will have this HVAC component that we will be a part of the range. So it's it's kind of a misnomer to just think of it as the old school, just open range outdoors and people just shoot and would go into the air. It, it's, it's not exactly that. So I just wanted to make that clear as well. Is that filtration system specifically for the, the lead uh, contamination? It is for everything, all contamination related to that facility. Yeah, I think um, kind of on the conversation about old school practices versus how this new firing range is going to be constructed, I th it's important not to lose sight that there is an existing firing range out there right now um, that requires ecological study and some kind of cleanup to correct the um, the degradation that has already occurred at that site. And I think it's clear to all of us that there is definitely lead out there. There's other metals that are being stored in the soil and the water. And um, I don't hear any plans being made to do a study of that ex existing area or clean that area up as part of this project. Is that right? Am I, am I missing that? Is that part of the project or um, you know, as we talk about potential impacts, there's a study site right there to, to tell you what, what might be happening. Madam Chair, can I, can I just pipe in for just one second? So again, I think when you talk about the existing range versus the um, building of a current range, I think um, Lily just brought up a very valid point, um, which I think is something to definitely emphasize here, which is why what we're talking about is, again, having an opportunity to get it right, to build a facility that, again, is designed with the filtration systems that you guys just heard Anthony talk about with the HVAC systems and, and modernize the system in a way where we obviously can, again, make sure that there is no impact to the residents. Because, again, the alternative is to leave the existing range in which is an, an open air range built you know, and God knows when, and, and there is no control again for what could be the environmental pollution um, to the, um, again, surrounding neighborhood. So I, again, re-emphasize and recommit the, our commitment to this group and to this facility and to the community that this gives us a chance to obviously build something that everyone would be proud of and build something that, again, we have an opportunity to get it right this time. Thank you, yeah. Lily, for the comment, and, and thank you, Mr. Freeman, for uh, the response. I certainly will say, as a community member living directly next to the existing facility, um, and, and I've heard from many of my neighbors the concerns about what is over there uh, and what that looks like uh, for our community. That being said, um, I am uh, questioning whether or not this is something that is going to fall into the scope of this committee. Nevertheless, I certainly um, want to see it investigated, if not through this committee, then through whatever appropriate channel. Madam Chair, can we just get clarification? It, so it, this is not, I mean, the existing gun range is not within the scope of this project. I just want to be clear. It's not. It is Correct. absolutely not part of the scope of this project. Now, do we care? Absolutely. But it's not Correct. within the scope of this project. I just, we just want clarity. Okay. I agree with that statement um, and it is absolutely not within the scope of this project and we would as a uh, committee only engage on something like that should the APF ask us to um, and, or, or the city of Atlanta, which is why I made the comment that it is definitely a concern for my community. I'm just not sure that this committee is where it would be addressed. Are there any other uh, questions? I don't see any additional hands raised. I'll give it just a moment. Put in a similar request about um, a water quality survey, you know, in addition to basically requesting that there be an ecological survey of that existing range and a plan made to clean it up as part of this project. Um, similar, like the same situation is happening with those two ponds that are being selectively excluded from the site plan. Those, um, you know, there's nothing saying that it's safe for people to even be near those ponds. They smell. Uh, there's no saying what's in the sediment there. And, um, you know, it, it seems like we're just kind of looking the other way when it comes to some of these messier uh, situations rather than folding them into a project that would 
really answer the mail on, you know, giving the community what's best for them. Um, and so I'd like to request that, you know, there be a survey done of that firing range and its ecological impacts and of those ponds and the stormwater impacts that are going to be a result of this whole site development and moving all of the soil and taking out all the trees. Um, you know, this, this project is not going to go through a zoning process that will provide any sort of oversight. So we are, we are the, the people to be asking these questions. And I'm sorry, they're hard questions, but they're, they're open and they're, if the project gets built without ever answering these questions for sure, then you're not doing what's best for all of us. And I think we all received your earlier communication uh, that outlined some other uh, information that you would like uh, for the APF and the development team to provide. Um, of course, those items, if sent to the chair, will be sent along to the development team and sent along to the APF so that uh, answers can be provided to you uh, or to the committee as a whole, be it uh, a direct email or uh, addressed during one of our meetings. Uh, one of the concerns that I have is uh, a request for certain items certainly should be the consensus of the committee. So we need to go through that process, which is why we are going to be conducting that polling to find out where the committee stands on various issues uh, and find out what pieces of information we need to ask for as a committee and as a uh, majority. Um, with that, I do see that Ms. Sharon Williams has her hand raised. Uh, would you like to take the floor again, Ms. Williams? Thank you, Madam Chair. I, I just like, to, I think uh, Ms. Punnett raised a very good question. It's a very important question. And there's so many environmental issues that are not being answered by this project. But this project has a very specific scope. Mm -hmm. So like, as we talk about taking minutes, right? We would take notes about some things that we would like dress externally. So it's external to the scope of this project. If we burden the project with too much, we'll kill the project and we will not be successful. We also have finite resources. But I, you know, I live here, it, it's bordering my, my property. So, and I have a creek that runs in my backyard. So I care deeply, um, but I also, we have to segment. So I would like to table Ms. Ponnet's recommendation. Um, I know that we have a, um, a steering committee, if you will, meeting on Friday scheduled, that we start to take some of these issues so that we can present them to the team so that we can get a vote or a um, consensus from the entire committee, not just a few people. I would agree and I would second your motion to table. Do we need a formal vote, Madam Chair, or is this something we're just going to do? We can do by abstention. Does anyone have uh, any objection to tabling? Okay, with no objection, it is so moved. Uh, with that, um, if we don't have any other hands raised, I don't see any uh, at the moment. Let's move forward right. with the master. I'm sorry, Madam. Is that Amy? Yeah, I'm sorry. I couldn't. Go for it, Amy. I'm sorry. No I, I don't mind tabling issues, but I would like to back up the idea that I feel like we're asking a lot of questions that are getting passed passed along or not answered, or and I feel like uh, these are questions that nobody else is going to ask, and if we are representatives of our community, our community wants to know these things. They want it, They want these questions answered. And I feel like it, we keep asking kind of the same questions and they just keep getting pushed back. Mm -hmm.